this is Tina, welcome back to my channel. So I'm just here at Ikea and I'm having a look. I've been wanting one of these pegboards for a while, so I'm going to treat myself to one of those today, um, along with a few other things. I've made a bit of a list of things that I think are going to be handy. So I just want this smaller pegboard here and I'm hoping it's going to fit beside my desk. This one is eight pounds and it's just like 36 by 56 centimeters. So I'm hoping that's going to work out all right. So I'm going to make a mental note of that for when we go down to the marketplace section where I can pick it up. They've got this little unit, which I did wonder about having beside my sewing machine because you kind of like pick it up at the front and you can drag it in and then I have fabric and things in there. Um, this is 12 pounds. So it's quite a you know good unit because it's quite small, but to be honest, I might get carried away while I'm here. So. I'm not sure about that. I had kind of made a strict list of the things that I thought would be handy, so I'm going to try not to deviate from the list. So the pegboards are definite. Not sure about what else. So I need to look at what accessories are available for the pegboard. Obviously, I'll need a few hooks and things to put things like scissors. So I'll have to, um, yeah, remember the hooks when I go down to the marketplace. So let's go around and see what else that they've got. I'm over here with those Rathcog trolleys. Um, obviously I'm really pleased with my crafting trolley that I bought from Hobbycraft recently. But I've just noticed these and I hadn't really realized that they do diff two different sizes. So they've got the large one, which I think is the only one I've seen before. And then they've got these smaller ones, which this is like 38 by 28 centimeters. So Again, a really practical solution for maybe just having beside my sewing machine um, is £29. So, again, I need to kind of think about this carefully. They're doing some construction in here, so sorry about the noise. Um, and obviously I've got my face mask on, so yeah, you know, I hope that the noise isn't going to drown out everything I'm saying. But this is a possible, but again, I need to try and stay focused on what I've actually come out to get. So here they've got these um, two packs of magazine racks and they're five pounds for a pack of two. They obviously then just, you know, click together and are made up like this. Now I've got a couple of magazine racks already, um, the wooden ones that I use for storing my coffee dyed paper. So I know that these are really good for storing kind of A4 paper. So I think I'm going to get two packs of these. I'm hoping to be able to use these eventually under my desk when I get it clear. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pop those in the bag. Right, so we've now just stumbled across these, which are obviously kind of magazine racks, but hung on the wall. And I'm wondering whether I might be better off with these instead of either the pegboard or the magazine racks that I've already picked up. Mainly because obviously the majority of my mess is paper. Um, so I'm kind of thinking that that's where I'm really needing help is with my paper storage. So yeah, I'm going to kind of just mull this over and um, decide by the time I go down to the marketplace, but I'm going to look out for these. Just here in another one of their room setups here, like a teenager's kind of bedroom, and they've got another pegboard, and they've got these things again, um, which I hadn't seen these. I've, I've seen these online, but not in the flesh. But the first thing that happened was obviously as soon as I picked it up, as I went to slide it back, I knocked the, the lid straight off, and it obviously then clattered to the floor. So I'm not sure these are such a good solution for me because they're going to be a bit fiddly and then every time I'm doing a video I'm going to be then dropping all of these bits and pieces on the floor. So I'm going to again, oops, see it's it's not really sort of just gliding back in there. It's a bit of a two two handed thing I think. So as the pegboard is going to be down beside my desk that may be a bit fiddly. So. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a think about those as well. Oh my gosh, I've got loads of things on my list that I'm trying to think about. So, And of course I can bring things back. If I get things and think, well actually that's not for me, I can always bring them, them back on time. Right, so here we've got another pegboard, and as you can see it's kind of in this garage type setup. Um, so they've got a few more of the accessories hung up on here. So they've got the obviously ones that I seem to struggle with pulling them on and off. And obviously someone else has previously because that's now not really hung on properly there's a shelf that goes on there which obviously that would probably be quite good so the shelf is three pounds and then they've got these things that are a bit like the shelf but they're a pot like this but without the lid and they're two pounds each I think so 
and obviously they've got the hooks which to be fair the hooks are maybe quite useful as well so yeah I'm going to hopefully now make my way down to the marketplace they've also got these hooks so yeah I need to kind of um, decide what's going to be best so I shall see you in a minute right here we are we're in the storage area so this is what I've actually really come specifically for so I'm going to get another couple of these boxes because they're really, really handy for storing things. I quite like having them with their lids off so that I can access everything straight away. So I want to hopefully get the kind of more photo box size. I'm looking around to see if I can spot them anywhere. They've got these ones, but these are, I'm sure, much shorter than the ones that I've previously had. So, yeah, they seem like a short version of the one that I have previously. So I'm going to have a hunt around and see if they've got the longer ones or whether they've stopped doing them. Right, so just for information, because I know that I've showed this a couple of times on my channel, but this is what I've stored my unfinished projects in. And it's called this. I cannot pronounce that, whether it's just a phalla um, or a fajala. You don't know um, but it's seven pounds and I mean I find that really useful it really holds a lot of um, stuff in there so that's what that is and now we're in kind of the section where like the pegboards are and stuff so my son he's come as my handy helper so he's just he was just running away so as I didn't film him obviously we're in the shop in our masks so um, yeah it's not kind of not the best really but he's being very helpful. He's pushing the trolley and he's going to help me kind of get everything. And I've shown him the pictures of the things that I wanted to really look out for. So he's also on the look for me. Right. This, I think, is the little shelf here that hooks onto the pegboard. They're three pounds. So if I just take over to the pegboards, I want to kind of roughly see how much stuff I'm going to get on here because you know, there's no point getting too many shelves that actually then I haven't got enough room to put things on. So I'm thinking like a shelf, um, probably a shelf, maybe, maybe a couple of the hooks to put things like scissors and things. I mean, as you can see up there, they've put like paintbrushes and things like that on there. Um, so yeah. So these are those smaller hooks and then they had the long pokey out hooks as well, which might be quite good because they're obviously only really going to hang like maybe a pair of scissors or something. Where if I have the more long pokey out hooks, which just having a look for here. Um, right, that's what those, oh, that's fantastic. Thank you. The lovely lady who worked here has just handed me those. So, right, that's those. So I'm going to get a couple of the long ones, pack of the little ones. I've got the shelf and now I think I just want to get a couple of the pots, probably without the lid because obviously I did seem to have a bit of an issue then putting it back in place with the lid. So yeah, I'm just having a look. Now they've got these ones which are colourful and you know pretty but I'm not quite sure that I'm so keen on the colours. Um, yeah, I'm going to, I think, just look for a plain one that's going to hook on there. The lady, and they're actually out of stock of the ones, you know, the colourful pots, the white ones of those. So I'm going to take a gamble and get these ones with the lids and we'll just have to <laughs> hope for the best that I'm going to be able to slide them back in without knocking them off every single time. So I'm going to get the pegboard and I'm going to get a little pack of bows. Okay, so this is the letter tray that I thought would be really helpful as well. So, because obviously that's going to be A4 size, so I'm going to grab one of those and then hopefully the stackable one, which must be this, which is the newspaper rack. So, I'm thinking the newspaper rack would probably have to go where I'm thinking the pegboard is going. So, it would probably be a case of either or, unless I can be quite clever how I store it. So I'm going to pick up both of these. Um, I have kind of budgeted for this over the last few weeks because I've been kind of planning my, my trip here. So although it's kind of mounting up, obviously I'm spending quite a bit because this is 15 pounds and this is 19 pounds. 
um, you know, obviously I've been budgeting this out for a few weeks. So um, yeah, I'm hoping that this is going to be transformation of my room. So as I say, they've been doing our IKEA up and um, look at this, isn't that so pretty? It's just gorgeous, doesn't it? They call it the flower house. I don't know whether that's really coming out on my video, but how gorgeous with all their artificial flowers. Looks so pretty. I just wanted to share that with you guys because I just thought it was so lovely at the end of the aisle. Right guys, I'm home now. So it's actually the next day because I didn't get back until a bit later. So I didn't really have time to film it yesterday. But these are the items that I ended up buying. So I got my pegboard. I got the... Um, long skinny shelf it's actually like a picture picture frame shelf uh i think it's called something like a moss moss lander or something moss lander shelf um so that's what this long piece is here uh i got the accessories for the pegboard which were the three little pots with the lids which I'm hoping I'm going to be able to master the art of getting them off without um, dropping them everywhere. I got the letter rack which is like that which I'm hoping will be fantastic for holding A4 papers. Um, I got a couple of sets of hooks for the pegboard so I got the long ones and the smaller ones and I got the little shelf unit as well for the um, pegboard. And then I got a couple more of the little sort of photo box type storage um, pieces. So they're those. I got the magazine racks there and I also got, this is quite heavy so I might struggle to do this while I'm holding the phone, but um, this was that, oh, like an in tray with the slideable kind of pull out um, little, uh, they're not really drawers, but they're just kind of a flat piece, but with a little lip there. So that was what I bought. So all of that stuff came to £77. So, I mean, it wasn't cheap. But as I say, I had been kind of budgeting, the, you know, for this for a little while and kind of planning it. So, yeah, I'm hoping that the difference it's going to make to my craft area is going to make it all worth it. So I'm going to take you over and we're going to kind of have a look at where I'm planning on putting some stuff. Okay, so this is the area that is behind my desk. Now, obviously, I've got my lovely drawers here. Down here, these are um, a couple of little folders of, they started out again very organised, they were printables that then I was coffee dyeing and things. They're now a little bit messy. This is where I keep obviously my heat tool for when I use that, I've obviously got my plug. Got some hooks up there, so again, use those for um, little bits and pieces. Again, I probably need to go through what's there because I'm sure I haven't used that, you know, very well. I've got my CD rack here, which again i used to use that for my sizzix dies you know the little kind of sizzlet type of um size pieces they used to go in there because that was just the perfect size and actually i don't really use those anymore so i've cleared a lot of those out so that's again another area that i need to kind of clear up because i'm sure i could make better use of it and then this is the area that i'm going to kind of try and tackle a little bit now obviously because i have got my plug there this may not really pan out as i'm quite hoping but i've got this is some of my ephemera which obviously i have ready to make journals that weighed a ton when i just moved that right so this box here i need to kind of move it out it's got lots of kind of vintage type pieces in here so again, I mean, I can't even get to that obviously as it is because it's, you know, got things piled on it. So definitely that needs, um, you know, a rethink. So I'm thinking, pull that out. This is another box with some, you know, ready-made pieces in it. So I'm moving that out as well. And if I just pull this off, I'm assuming this is going to, oh, weigh a ton. Yep, with one hand, not great. So I've got obviously my extension lead there. And this is full of photos and things. So this definitely is not required up here. So I'm going to move this and I'm going to just put this under my bed. So that will be stored under there. And what I'm thinking is if I move this CD storage case over and put that hopefully next to my drawers, I'm hoping I can get my pegboard here. My initial plan had been to have my pegboard beside my desk, which I'll spin round and show Little you. gap here. I had measured it previously to going, but actually when I got home, it's just too tight really. Um, you know, 
obviously the measurements it does kind of fit but it's not going to be ideal every time I reach around to get something it's going to be tricky to get so I'm thinking do something else with that area I'm not going to go lower because wow well, I have another load of stuff on the floor so uh, yeah that's kind of that area but I'm not going to do okay, that now I've just swung you around and I just turned it off in between to save you sort of feeling sick so I'm hoping by shifting this stuff around is going to make this bit more manageable um, yeah we'll kind of see so I shall shift all this stuff out the way and then I will show you guys right so I've moved everything across and I had paper bags and things tucked all behind this that were you know wedged in the corner so I've taken those out again I haven't been them which I probably should have done but again you know me I'm just hoarding them um so I now have this space here on the wall so I'm hoping that I'm going to have my pegboard my pegboard mounted there and I can have lots of things hung on there and then my little boxes of my ready-made ephemera they can be here beneath it so that's the plan so far obviously that's going to help me be able to get to my cupboards which previously that was also an issue getting to them so yeah I'm hoping that this is going to work better um I have to say it seems like I have tons of space now here because I've moved those other boxes out of the way although wow just to show you I now have to uh, move them all out of the way from the floor so I'm still not that much better off so far but yeah um so that's the plan so I'm going to get my husband to come and put the um the pegboard up on the wall and we'll see how that um pans out so super excited hopefully get in behind my desk a little bit organized now while my husband is kind of sorting out his tools and things to hang that up I've brought you over to my horrible glory cupboard. Wow, look at the state of my cupboard. Yep, look at that. Stuff everywhere. Just what a complete and utter tip. So, <laughs> obviously, I do not really want to tackle this area because it's just so hideous. But the reason why I'm now kind of, you know, um, jumping across to another area is because some of the tidying up I find... You know, I have to clear now another space to obviously move some of the, the other things to. Now, in this cupboard, it's predominantly all the stuff that I had from scrapbooking and card making days. So I'm going to try my very best to be quite ruthless and actually get rid of some stuff. Obviously, as you know, I struggle really a lot with doing that. But I have got lots of things in here that really are, you know, kind of bright colours and things like that, which I'm not necessarily going to use anymore. So I'm going to try and um, film this. I'm not sure how it's going to go, so we'll see. Right, so I'm thinking obviously small stages here. So, um, you know, small steps. So I know that I've got a lot of coloured card in here, which, you know, I'd been hanging on to thinking, well, my daughter might want to use that and things. But to be honest, I've got so much of it because I bulk bought it when a shop was closing down many years ago, many years ago. And now to be honest, it's just sat here taking up loads of space. So I'm going to now oops, pull this out. Oh, Now I, as you probably know if you watch my channel, I'm that person who doesn't read the instructions, you know, when they buy flat, you know, flat pack furniture and things like that. So um, yeah, I'm, probably not doing this at all in the you know the correct method if there is the correct method just chucking all of this paper down beside me for a moment oops oh my gosh there's so much here I mean even now I'm pulling it out I'm straight away drawn to all the gorgeous colours that I've got here and straight away not wanting to part with it but I have got like you know pieces from my scenes so put that there ready to go in the bin in a minute I've got this lovely scrapbook paper which if you can see that it's got lovely stars on but here I am lucky enough to have these 12 by 12 storage boxes so I need to kind of get them sorted out and organized and you know not have all these bits piled in front of them and then they'll be more usable won't they I've also got beads I have to say I never really ever use beads so probably I should just get rid of these the problem is if I do I'm going to straight away want them so I probably will keep them at least for the time being oh, I've got all sorts of things in here I've got this gorgeous little plaid pad there and I do really like plaids and things um, I actually bought these for card making for men's cards but to be fair 
I could use these to make little envelopes. So I'll put those to one side for a moment. But what I'm trying to do is obviously drag out this whole, this whole thing of the coloured card. So put that down there. Okay, and get the rest out. Okay, right. So now I have a great big space here, which you can probably see. Everything's literally about to slide into it. Um, but yeah, as I say, I'm not going to tackle this all in one go because, wow, that just seems way too, way too off-putting. Um, <laughs> I have obviously loads and loads of bits of paper here. So I'm going to just take all the 12 for 12 type bits Oops. and can put them... I mean, that's actually, that's a Halloween-y scrapbook paper. So, I mean, I might be able to use that in a Halloween journal, obviously, you know, if I'll ever be able to find it again. Um, I've got this little bit from a scrapbook page, which again, I could just make into a journaling card. That, which, why have I hoarded that? So let's just get rid of that. I've got these, which I'd obviously kept for, you know, men's cards. So again, I mean, these are die cut shapes. I could pop these out and just put them into, um, you know, like a little Happy Mail kind of thing. So I'll put them to one side. Uh, this, again, I obviously was making something and then kind of never really finished it off. So I'm going to be ruthless and get rid of that. Another little scrap. So I'm thinking those Happy Mail scrap packs that um, uh, Lisa from Handmade from Lisa, she did the Happy Mail scrap packs several years ago. I'm just literally getting rid of odds and ends here so oh gosh sorry I've just now knocked the camera I'm not very good because this is my son's tripod um from when he's done kind of school projects and things like that so um yeah I'm not not very good with that so I do apologize I've got a couple of scraps here which I do really like so I'm going to put those there all of these index cards they're obviously all these gorgeous colors and I have loads of them thought obviously I was going to use them I haven't really used them to be perfectly honest so again, they're now just in a big, big mess. So, oops, more paper, which again, I mean, I always just really love the gingham and things. So I put that there. So I'm just taking out little bits and pieces and then anything that's really pathetically small, which why did I hang on to it in the first place? I'm going to obviously bin. Um, more lovely scrapbooking paper there. So I'm going to keep that there. And I think probably what I might do is do some collage pieces using some of these papers that I pull out because that would be a really good way to just use them up. I've got a brown piece here, which to be honest, the brown, I, I just think works really well for the back of a journaling card. So I'll keep that. This, I'm probably not really going to use that. I would maybe use it in a boy's card, but yeah, I'm going to be ruthless and bin it. Uh, what else have I got here? just literally a scrap but it's obviously been used so get rid of that got another piece i could use for a journaling card oops just dropped now the um the index cards i've got loads of stamp butterflies here now to be honest i mean i don't know whether i will actually go on to use them now they you know the stamping isn't that brilliant on there anyway so i'm going to again be ruthless and bin that and what else did i pull out i've got here some kind of textured red card which I mean that's quite nice but yeah will I will I use that I don't know to be honest maybe not so I'm also going to donate a lot of this stuff I think to the school which I think you know I mean the school is obviously always on the hunt for bits and pieces I've got this brick wallpaper which I did keep this for cards so I am going to keep a small supply of stuff for cards because um you know I do still make cards um, you know from time to time now this again it's like corrugated kind of cardstock I'm going to donate that to the school I've got some um, uh, what's the word like acetate type stuff there again some brown which it looks like I've even drawn rectangles in that I have no idea um, so I'm going to get rid of that piece this piece I could keep because again I could make journaling cards from that so here I've got some chipboards. These are Christmas shapes by the looks of things. Obviously I've had these in my stash for so long I can't even remember, you know, having bought them. Um, so again, you know, I may put these to one side. Maybe to do something at Christmas if I can find them and remember I have them is the problem. So yeah, I'm going to put these down here for the moment. So what I'm going to do, so 
sorry guys, you're going to have kind of bits of bits of my head and bits of not really, but what I'm going to do is um, take all of my index cards and keep those. So I'll put those, oops, put those there, but I may share them, you know, in some, um, when I sell journals and things, I always like to include little bits and pieces. So I may kind of make some little packs of those because I'm sure they'd be quite handy. And let me just put them, put them on the floor with the bits I'm keeping. And then here, clearly I don't need these at all. Tons and tons of the card. So let me just move the camera slightly so you can actually see what I'm doing. Right, so that's probably better because you now can actually see what I'm looking at, whereas otherwise I was, you know, not anywhere near it. So all of this really bright cardstock, I'm going to keep a little tiny bit of it, but not too, too much because, you know, I can always kind of, you know, rebuy it, I guess. And to be honest, I probably won't. And that's the point, isn't it? You know, you probably don't. And I had a really interesting comment from somebody the other day and she said, she's kind of taken the attitude now that if you haven't used it for ages, you know, you're probably not going to use it. You can always rebuy things and the likelihood is you're not going to, you know, and that's the point, isn't it? You know, you're probably not really likely to, to rebuy it. So, um, yeah, if that's kind of the case, then it's probably, probably time to get rid of it. So that's that. I'm just going to keep a little selection of each colour but the rest I'm going to get rid of and again I mean I'm keeping some because obviously my daughter loves you know the bright colors and things like that so you know that's good to keep some for her and here who knew got a whole stash of white card now this is very very thick I'm pretty sure this would not go through my printer at all um, but that could be coffee dyed and used for other things so I will definitely keep the white obviously so that's that pile there I've got here some freebies from a magazine which again I'm probably not really going to use those but by the looks of things there's also a stencil in here which I could just kind of see poking through so let's just have a look or well, maybe not well I feel like there is but it's obviously very very thin let's have a look Oops. so I mean I've obviously had this for so many years I couldn't even remember what you know what it was so I'm just going to put that on the rubbish pile so this one it's a stencil it's a Christmas stencil I mean again to be honest I am probably not really going to use that to be honest so I'm going to put that to give to the school as well and then here I've just oops, got this lovely pale blue color now this is a color I really like so I'm going to keep kind of you know quite a sort of chunk of those but donate the rest to the school so like that, and then I come to the other colours. Right, I'm going to have a problem now. A problem with hoarding, because these are all colours that I think are quite usable now. So I'm going to keep those. I've got this gorgeous mottled sort of marbly pale pink colour. I'm going to keep that. I've got this darker turquoise blue. So again, love that colour, but I'm just going to keep sort of a little bit of it and give the rest to the school. And then here I've got some more colours. I mean, the red and green, they're always quite handy to have for Christmas, aren't they? So I would just keep a few of those. Obviously the pink because oh, it's just lovely. Um, and then I've got this colour pink, so I'm going to keep that, get rid of this to the school. So straight away, I've got a much better size stack of um, A4 sort of cardstock. And the chance are I'm probably not even going to use this if I'm truthful, but you know, let's do things in small stages. So here on the floor, I've got some other bits that again, I haven't really used for a long, long time. So these are some die cut shapes. What I could do is actually kind of cut, or not cut out, I mean, they're die cuts obviously, but again, can just take out all of the butterflies. So all of the bits that I think, well, I might use those. I mean, I think what I'm going to do is, um, if you watched a couple of weeks ago, I kind of started making up a bag of like card making type bits. So this has got card making sentiments and things like that. So what I might do is use one of those kind of photo boxes and just make a whole box full of card making things and, you know, punch out or not punch out, but, you know, take all of these bits out and they will all be in that box. And then when I come to make a card, 
I can just grab that whole box and make from the stuff that I have in there, which, you know, hopefully will be then a good solution and cuts down on this. I've got here some decoupage um, of fishing, you know, characters and things. Again, I bought it for card making. I made a couple of cards. I mean, to be honest, you know, I don't really know many people who are big fishers, particularly. So, um, yeah, I'm going to donate that to the school as well. Um, the other thing is, I did have lots of lovely people suggesting that I sold off some of my old um, supplies. I'm probably not going to do that, mainly because the postage costs, to be honest, are going to be so horrendous because a lot of this is paper and card. And so, obviously, you know, it's not going to be cost effective for anybody to actually try and buy this stuff. Um, and even if I were to just gift it and kind of suggest that, you know, maybe the person wanting it just pays for the postage, I still don't think it's going to be very cost effective. Certainly not if I were then going to post anything overseas. So unless they're kind of like, you know, smallish items or, you know, more lightweight stuff, I think I'm best off just literally, you know, donating it to the school or something like that, to be honest. Um, obviously, you know, anything that's not too heavy, I could obviously give in, um, you know, happy mails and things like that, you know, and when people buy journals and things from my shop. But to be honest, aside from that I think it's not going to really be feasible to be posting the stuff out and the other thing is obviously the majority of stuff that I'm going to be getting rid of is not going to be particularly journal making things it's going to mainly be you know card making stuff so I don't know really whether it would be overly you know overly helpful or useful or you know even wanted um, by people in our community because we tend to do obviously junk journals so um, yeah but hopefully, you know, I'm going to be making a little bit of progress and obviously donating lots of nice bits to the school. So I'll just punch out anything else that I think is kind of cute. So that's got those little buttons, they're sweet. And then here I've got little other bits I'm probably not going to use if I'm truthful, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Then here I've got some craft stamps. So, I mean, again, things like this I could maybe put you know in a happy mail or something like that again i haven't obviously finished sorting my stamps yet so that is yet to come that's going to be over several weeks i think the stamps but these little stamps here so i could just include these um you know to people when i obviously post out journals and things so that's you know they were just there because i was obviously planning on getting rid of those as well i've got a couple of ribbons which again you know i'm probably not going to be using those so i'm going to get rid of those by Again, I mean, I could, you know, could give them to somebody. I don't know how required all this stuff will be. Um, so I think probably I'm just going to donate the ribbons to the school. So I just put those there. Um, and then these I'm going to put to the side where I'm going to kind of try and make some sort of, um, you know, parcels or something to put with journals. So that's quite a bit of progress made today. Um, obviously my cupboard's still a tip so hold on right so clearly as you can see literally zero progress has been made i know that there's a gaping great big hole here um but to the untrained eye that just looks like nothing has happened at all doesn't it so um yeah lots and lots more work to do in there to make any space whatsoever for anything to go in there so we might have to tackle that next week um we'll kind of see how we get on but i think my husband might have finished the pegboard okay, now so here is my pegboard in place um and i've got obviously all of my little bits and bobs that i'm going to hang off it so i'm going to just do that and then i'll come back and show you and then that's probably more than enough i think for today um in the tidying stakes right super excited i have put all of my little bits and bobs um you know hung up on my pegboard obviously i haven't started using it yet so I need to think and decide what's going to be best placed on there um, because I obviously have the other things that I bought as well. So, you know, but hopefully it's going to be really great. Um, obviously, all of these things just hook onto the pegboard so I can move things around. If I decide that, you know, my hooks are not in the right places, my shelf isn't or whatever, I can just change things around. So, yeah, hopefully it's going to all pan out really, really well. So as I say, that's probably enough today. Um, I Obviously because I've done this video in like, you know, billions of little bits, I won't know how long it is until I actually come to join it together. 
So it could be horribly long or it could end up, actually, it's only kind of 15 minutes. Um, I don't really know. So uh, we'll see. And um, But yeah, I think it's probably enough for today. And um, yeah, thank you so much for joining me on my trip around Ikea. And I will keep you posted, obviously, in another Friday, Tidy Friday as to how the other things pan out. And obviously we can arrange the storage on those other things and um yeah hopefully kind of you'll join me next time if organizing's not really your thing then i have craft videos on the other days of the week so thank you so much for watching and be safe everyone bye <laughs>